Thomas Lubanga, still guilty, still liable. The International Criminal Court has upheld its 2017 ruling to hold the imprisoned Congolese warlord liable for up to $10 million in damages. It has also opened the way for new victims to step forward. So far, 425 former child soldiers recruited by Lubanga between 2002 and 2003 are set to receive some kind of compensation. In 2012, he was convicted of war crimes committed in Ituri, a mineral-rich region in the northeast of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Lubanga armed group recruit, train and use hundreds of young children to kill pillage and rape. While Libanga was serving out a 14-year prison sentence in Kinshasa, the ICC ruled that he should be financially liable for the crimes he committed. Lubanga's legal representatives challenged this ruling, arguing that it overstated his criminal responsibility. Representatives of the victims also argued that the $10 million cap could prevent, as of yet, unidentified victims from gaining compensation. But in allowing new victims to step forward and allowing those whose initial claims were rejected to apply once again for damages, the case has evolved. The court previously acknowledged that Lubanga does not have the financial means to pay $10 million in compensation, suggesting that payments would have to be organised by a court-sponsored trust fund, possibly assisted by Congolese authorities.